Hello everyone and welcome to part two of our new student video walkthrough series for students in the Library Science Master's program at the University of Kentucky. This video will focus on registering for classes in the MyUK portal. Just as a reminder, MyUK is for registration, accessing your student account and materials such as financial aid, unofficial transcripts, etc., and viewing final grades. It is not where you take classes. Canvas is a learning management system for classes and is found on a separate site. If you haven't watched part one of this series, Setting Up Advising in Canvas, check the links in the description box to learn more. Your first step will be to go to myuk.uky.edu and log in with your LinkBlue username and password. If you need help with your LinkBlue credentials, contact UKITS at 859-218-HELP or 4357. So you're going to go to the Student Services tab at the top menu. On the top menu under the Student Services tab, you'll click on Degree Planning and Registration, My UK GPS, to access your student homepage for planning and registering for courses. And this is what it looks like. One thing to keep in mind is that you'll want to make sure you're in the correct semester. Let's go and do a sample registration to show what this would look like. Let's walk through the registration process using the course planning form from part one of this series to select our courses. For this example, the student has indicated they only want two classes or six credit hours each semester. They've already taken their four core classes and an IT requirement. So their form shows them they should be registering for two electives. Let's use the course catalog feature to plan and book the courses. So as you can see, I selected summer session, since that's the semester I want to be registering for, as it automatically had put me in fall. It's very important to check to make sure that you're in the right session when you are going to be registering for classes, because you don't want to register for a class in the wrong semester. So I'm going to plan and then course catalog. So going off of the course planning forum, I'm going to look for LIS prefix, which is the library science prefix. And then this student had indicated an interest in 612. I'm going to hit search. And here is the class. It gives me the option to plan or register for it. I'm going to go ahead and click plan. And when I hit save, you'll see that it has added it to my planned courses. Let's do the same for the second class. And I'll hit plan. And it's been added. So now to register for classes very easily all at once, I'll go to menu and then registration. And here we can see both courses that we planned. If I select them both and hit register, it will register me for both classes at the same time. So this is an error message that sometimes students get, particularly if they are very new or they are returning from a leave of absence of any kind. Um, and that is an easy override fix for us to register you for a class. We just want to make sure we also contact the graduate school to make sure that you're fully coded as a library science student um, in the graduate program. 
So if you get an error message like this after returning from a leave of absence or for any reason, just let us know and we'll make sure to take care of it so that you can still be registered for classes and that everything is fine. Let's go ahead and view our schedule. And here you can see the registered class as well as the instructor and the dates that it runs. One thing to note is that in my UK, online classes usually have their time and location listed as TBD. This is a placeholder that the catalog we use has for those classes as they don't have a physical location. It doesn't mean you'll ever have to come to campus or meet at a certain time. So just ignore the to be determined and know that it is an asynchronous online class. You can also tell something is an online class in my UK because the section number will be in the 200s. This one's 210. So if we click on this, you'll actually be able to see a pop-up with the course description and a link to textbook information. If you scroll on down, we'll see the tuition and add drop schedule for that semester. This is extremely important to know in case you increase or reduce your course load. As you can see, after certain dates, there is a variable refund that will be offered by the university for when you drop a class. So if you do intend to perhaps drop a class or you're unsure, just know that you must adhere to this schedule if you want a certain refund amount. And by the way, this is set for every single semester for every class offered in that semester. It won't change unless it's a part of term course, which we only offer in summer. So My UK GPS, the degree planning and registration tool in My UK, is very helpful. However, there are some features which do not apply to graduate students, which you should be aware of. Under the main menu, you will see the option for degree audit. It looks like this. While this feature can accurately predict degree progress for undergraduate students, it should not be used for our graduate students in the library science program. If you are concerned about meeting graduation requirements, check with Student Affairs and your advisor. Let's head back to the home screen to look at one more thing. On the home screen, you're going to be able to see your booking window. This is when you have the ability to add or drop courses or register for a coming semester. Usually open registration for students or priority registration as we call it for current students happens between late March and early April for the fall and summer semesters and then later in October and early November for the fall for the sorry for the spring semester. <laughs> so we do register for summer and fall at the same time here at the University of Kentucky. Student Affairs will typically send out those reminders to the listserv as well as the advising shells in Canvas. So it's very important to know when your booking window is so that you can register for courses on time and you don't risk being not able to register for a class that you want. So just to finish up, one other reminder is that while you will see your registration in My UK right away, you may not see the course in Canvas until the first day of classes for that semester. This is typically in late August for the fall semester. Those courses will be opened when classes start and your instructor publishes the course shell in Canvas. And remember, if you have any questions or need assistance with registration, feel free to drop us a line at infosci at uky.edu for individual help from student affairs. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough series and it helped you with registering for classes. 
All the links are in the description box below, and if you have any questions, let us know. Have a great day.